New tonight, WWL investigators have learned part of the reason for the delay in the implosion is that the developer missed the deadline to pay for it. The demolition team required a $5 million demolition price to take down the cranes, and that was not paid until this morning. Now, as Danny Monteverdi explains, the city has more reasons for the delay. All eyes were on the sky Saturday, and the talk of the town was still about how the Hard Rock cranes would come down. As we've been stating from the very beginning, this has been a fluid operation for now seven days. Those discussions will continue for at least another day. The soonest this will occur is about noon tomorrow. Crews have been busy the last two days putting explosives on the cranes. Fire Chief Tim McConnell says it was those close-up looks that led to the latest delay. The cranes more damaged than they thought, and so they need to do things that are a little bit safer. The plan is to use torches and explosives to bring down the boom and counterweight on each crane. Charges will also be detonated to drop the crane towers. The goal is to have them fall on top of the partially collapsed building sometime afternoon Sunday. This will not happen at night and we're wanting to ensure that it is during daylight hours. Councilwoman Kristen Palmer, whose district includes the Hard Rock site, says she's confident the best people have been brought in to take the cranes down. But she says after that happens, the rest of the site needs to be cleared fast. I don't think anybody wants this as an eyesore. It has to go as soon as possible. That, that corner needs to be cleared. A process that, if all goes to plan this time, will start Sunday. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. Now again, here's another look at that expanded zone. The evacuation zone is seen here in red. You can see none of these are a perfect square, but it's from about Basin to Dauphine and from Tulane Avenue to Conti Streets. The temporary exclusion zone, which means everyone in that area must remain indoors, is now from about Royal to North Villery and Union to Toulouse Street. Another area that has been added is this hard traffic closure. No vehicles will be allowed to enter from St. Peter to Perdido and char Charters to Robertson Streets. The exact time for these closures is still unknown.